Hey guys, I'm Mercy Chewy Side, and here's a video for you guys. It's a track guide for Kansas Speedway. Night race, and I'm gonna say this right now. I don't have time to make a keys to the race card, so you know, you know who's gonna bug me about it. Yeah, there's a reason why. I don't have time, new monitor, and all that, so we're just gonna go ahead and get to the lap. Alright, so here we are about to take our lap, and like I said before, we're running a new monitor so we can actually run a higher resolution 1440p so you can also like that on youtube settings you know that little gear you can now watch it in 1440p but i'll say right now the quality is not going to be as good as it will be next week i didn't have time to tweak any of the settings for obs so bitrate might be a little off so anyways fix setup fixed weather nothing else has changed except for brake bias. I moved down to 63%. This is a night race, so the speeds are going to be quite high. Anyways, let's wash the lap. Alright, there we have it for a 29.5. Let me back that up. Alright, so Kansas, fast track, top line dominant because it's, well, it's still broke, no matter what. We're still flying here way quicker than we should be, and it's mostly the track because this car is actually slow in the corners everywhere else, except here, for some reason. So, right here is just sort of optional on your in lap or out you know, beginning lap, you know, coming out of four to start your lap. You can run down to the apron, like you see me doing right here. Now here you kind of want to straighten up because it does kind of trick you, so you kind of want to be straight when you get to this part of the wall, like you see right here. Now I'm going to start turning down into the corner, but instead of going down here, we're looking at this little tiny strip, the paint. So turning down. And somebody mentioned this last week, like what am I looking at before I'm getting into the corner or as I'm breaking as my marker, I'm just sort of, sort of looking straight ahead, which is probably why I get caught up in some messes because I don't see very well. Anyways, I'm on the brakes here. I'm looking straight ahead and we're aiming for this first little seam that you can kind of look at there. It's a little black line. So I'm using a little bit of brake to get the nose to set, but once it does, you can pretty much uh, let it roll. You can see I'm down here to that seam, sort of under it, and that kind of helps the car turn. We're going to let it drift up a little bit, the middle of the corner, up to this Kansas Speedway logo. And then from there on, I'm turning back down, or at least attempting to, to get back to the seam. You can see that's where I'm ending, and we're going to straighten up on exit. Power down the straightaway. And turn three, we're able to actually drive it in a little bit deeper. So if you look here, I'm actually turning in already. I'm aiming for that same seam. And once it stops turning, that's why I'm getting on the brakes a little bit. Set the nose one more time. Getting down to the seam, using it to turn. We're going to let it roll and drift up. And once we do that, get back to the throttle. Pretty much be able to stay in the throttle. Use the seam to turn the car. And avoid hitting the wall out of four because I've done it many times. And you can drive it to the apron and that's really all there is to explain it. Main thing about this race is just going to be survival. So there's really not much else to say about this track. I have one of my least favorite tracks just for the reason we have to run this top line to be fast. And, uh, you know, grips too high. It's just, you know, one of them deals. Anyways, sit racing to side.